the other day was the 50th anniversary of the hip hop genre. Very cool shout out to the, uh, you know, all the artists that have gone through and made new waves and switched things up and everyone that started it off, honestly, bro. Honestly, great genre. We have a bunch of samples. The most iconic hip hop sample of every year from 1973 to 2023. Of course, it's a track lib. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. James Brown was so different, man. the disco era bruh i'm saying it like i was around i wouldn't but bro like they was just having fun bro like bro they don't they don't they don't have fun like that no more bro they don't bro not like that hey 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 the coke the coke was strong back then <laughs> Coke was strong back then, my boy. Of course they was having fun. What am I talking about? Ugh. Haven't heard this in a long time. Fire, bro. Crazy. familiar to me, I don't know. Sample so many times I can't even pinpoint like the oldest one. I've never really been super into 80s rap, I'm not gonna lie, bro. But as I go back is 90s. Like 90, 91. No, like 93. Peak rap. Peak hip hop, I'm not gonna say peak rap. Peak, peak hip hop for sure. 93 to 95. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like LL Cool J was like one of the, the first rappers to like really start having crazy beats, you know? Honestly, before the beats was cool, and like they had to, you know, lay the ground floor, but they started getting crazy well. Cool J, though. See, like. Rick Rubin, man. 1987. Ugh. Ugh. They 
thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig it to my pocket all my money. Oh, man. Was this sampled before this? I don't think this was ever. This was the first time this was sampled, right? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Well, but then again, I can't say that because like there's so many artists that didn't get their, you know, stuff put out on a large scale or their stuff was lost or damaged or stolen or whatever. So it probably was sampled before, but this is probably like the earliest recorded sampling of that song, which is crazy to think about. Now we starting to get more must be here. Oh. oh my god. Like bro. Ugh. This is one of the best eras of producers ever, literally. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Crazy. drum breaks from the 70s man 60s and 70s really I haven't heard this in so long <laughs> that's crazy I listened to the original way more just ABC straight up it's crazy some uh some like memphis stuff in here bro i'm not gonna lie i need some of that yeah yeah hit me last 
last second. Uh. Yo. Yo. Oh. What I tell you, bro? 93, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Crazy. With the help of snuffing Jesus. I know I've watched this breakdown before. Never been like the biggest Nas fan, you know? But this is just. <sighs> This is from here, right? Yeah. Ugh. Insane. Quincy Jones, yo. I knew this sample, but I didn't know this one somehow. I'm so glad, bro, didn't delete this. <laughs> I'm so glad, bro. This ain't no such thing. This is the greatest sample. Flip of all time, this is the greatest hip hop beat. No, this is top five, though. Honestly, Sing About Me is up there. So, and that's, that's a hip hop song. So, kinda, it's a rap song, I don't know. But, you know, it's up there, bro. That's peak sampling right there. One of my favorite samples of all time. Honestly though, I feel like when I hear it now, I think of DJ Technics before anyone else. Baltimore House needs to, like, you know, they been going crazy with the rap, but like, we need that house music back, bro. Ready or not, See, this is what I grew up on, bro. You can't this is what I was listening to. A lot of that. And this. So different, bro. Like that just that hit different, bro. Oh, oh my god. Such a banger, bro. Is it wrong to say that this is his best song? Is that crazy? I feel like it is. Most timeless song, probably. Come on. Come on. That's 
It's probably between this and Dear Mama. One so I think. this Eminem, bro. I really do. Really do. See, see, now we're now we're getting to my era for real, bro. <laughs> this is if I was in a two by choice. You know, this is the vibe I was putting on. I just love this song, man. right here bro this right here bro this is when rap i feel like this is when it started getting real close to the peak again like i said peak was 93 to 95 this is the closest we've no this at the time this was the closest we had gotten i feel like we've gotten closer to it since but oh man once they started getting the beats out bro crazy Female vocals in with the oh man. Well, honestly, this is this is real. This is when rap really started appreciating hooks and choruses and all that again. Cause like that was an '80s thing. I feel like, but I feel like in the '90s, like everyone was just going straight verses. Like they was just going bars, bro. Honestly, they was just rapping. Mm. beat i feel like that made me get into rap for real like for real. i had listened to rap before but when i heard this it changed bro it was like yeah no this is it this is where it's at bro this is most likely was it for me either this or or the the entire blueprint 3 album and then like four years old it was raps i was five For breakfast, an end show for dessert. Somebody order pancakes. I, I just, just sit this is her. Get down with the bus stop. As well as we haven't gotten any uh, Project Pat production yet. Just realized it's okay though. Oof. 
bro. I, bro, 50 carried here. Yeah. Carried. Absolutely carried. Absolutely carried. Like, shout out to the game, but like, bro. That was Cap, but anyways. Oh my goodness, bro. Amazing. Again, close to the peak, bro. Close to the peak, bro. Insane, bro. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm tired of this song. Not this song. I love this song, but stronger. Like, tired of it, bro. Tired. Of it. I was three when this came out. I feel like I've been hearing it every day since. Like, dude. Yeah, it's really good, but bruh. If this is your favorite Kanye song, I'm sorry, but like, do it. They need to clap again. They do. I know they're broken up, but like, come on, dude. Let's get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the ball tonight. And you don't give a fuck what they all say. This will put Wayne on my radar. In 08. But I had, I had never heard of him till this. And bruh. Where's Big Little Chat, bro? He some crazy beats for so long. Did he retire? Again, bro, this album changed rap for me, bro. Yeah, I'm out that Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, Ugh. right next to the narrow. But I'll be hood forever. I'm the new Sinatra. One of the greatest rap songs ever, honestly. So is this, though. Bro, I still hear this in like superhero movie trailers, bro. Still. Post what he said, bro. It's that good. It's that good. Mm. Every day I'm thankful for those Hawaii sessions. Swag, see, this is what I'm. This is what I'm waiting for, bro. That real trill, like you feel me? Oh, I said purple swag. I'm tripping, bro. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Ty beats did both beats. Okay, that's why I mixed them. It was Ty beats both times. It happens. It happens. 
Mm. It's a shame I still haven't gotten into Beach House. Like more than three songs. But bro. Everything I've ever heard from them is just beautiful, bro. I, I need to listen to them more. I do. I know I do. Chat. I said chat on that live, but like, bro, that like that's, dude. Twenty thirteen is this? Oh, it started from the bottom. I was about to say, this is not a ginseng strip, which I feel like would have been a better pick for twenty thirteen, but just me. This beat will make me like Drake. No, no. I had kind of, no, this is what made me, this is what made Drake my favorite rapper, my first favorite rapper. I had liked Drake because I knew he was affiliated with Lil Wayne and he was on Degrassi. That's what made me realize bro was valid. So I started listening to him when uh, Find Your Love came out and I found out Ye produced it because I was already a Ye fan. But I didn't really like listen to bro like that until this dropped. When this video came out, I was like, yo, he's him. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here, niggas. I thought he was Hispanic. I miss you so much. Since you've been gone. Yeah. Yo, this sounds like driving to school, man. This sounds like driving to school, bro. This around the time, this around the time I started getting aux privileges until it turned into only me having aux for real because I was always playing bangers. It was around the time, man. I still love the best dogs in the video. Amazing. Dude, another Drake song for 2015? Excuse me, okay, now, now I gotta, no, 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 bro. No, bro, for 2015, bro? But then again, 2015 was trap era. So I feel like it wasn't a whole lot of, nah, bro, you could've done Antidote. Could've done. You know what? I'm gonna give you that, bro. It, it was 2015. That was Trap Beats. That was Metro. That was a lot of people. Uh, you know, this is when Loops started becoming a thing for real, and Frank Dukes was popping, and all that. So you know what, bro? I'm gonna let it slide. But next time, I, I only need one Drake song. I know I said this is my first favorite rapper, but I said emphasis on first, not just favorite. You feel me? This ain't even that crazy of a sample, man. It was crazy at the time, but I guess it's just not aging well for me personally. I've heard this too much. That year, I heard it too much. You used to call me on my cell phone. That was a cool little edit. That was a cool little... Okay, you back in my good graces because that edit was fine. That edit was fine. That was fine. That was fine. That was fine. That's fine. 2015 Drake was peak Drake. You couldn't tell me nothing during this era. Nope. Hey, my life is you as your mess. Hey, can't keep my dick in my pants. Hey, my bitch don't love me no more. Crazy. Okay. I feel like I just listened to this this song too much. It's too good, dude.
I feel like Future, Future is one of the goats at beat selection. I can't name a bad Future beat. I can't. Hey, Bandana Metro. That era was crazy. Okay, I guess this this is fair. This is fair. Still very proud of hearing of Lil Nas X a few months before he blew up. One of the last people I listened to on SoundCloud, like when I was still in the SoundCloud era, it was Juice and then him, and then that was it, literally. In DC. I got the horses in the back. W2B? That was YouTube, right? I'm about to say, what is this? But this is middle child. Back like old J Cole is the best J Cole. But he he been he he's still dropping bangers, bro. I'm ready for it, boy. It's time. Niggas been counting. Wait, didn't he skip it, to boy? Didn't he say that that was canceled? And he just doing the uh the fall off next? Or is it's a boy still happening? Yeah, I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. And T minus and J Cole, great duo right there. Gang. Such a hard beat, bro. I'm I, oh, I wish Tisa got this beat. I wish Tisa got this beat, bro. Or 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 the baby at the time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The baby at the time on this beat, yo. That, that'd have been crazy. That'd have been crazy. That'd have been crazy. That'd have been crazy. Like young boy because i had known about young boy for like six years of that at that time and never liked him but i also never gave him a chance i never really listened to him i heard like clips and stuff of his music in like 2016 and he was doing like a lot of like melodic stuff and i just wasn't at the time that wasn't my vibe bro i was trying to that was my i was in the sound collider, so i was in like x ski zell uh smoke perp trippy red you know, like I wasn't really trying. If I was listening to melodic music, I needed heavy 808s behind it, bro. Heavy. And I feel like Youngboy's beats at that time weren't as good as they are now. You know? But either way, I heard this song and my entire opinion changed and I am a YB fan to this day. Definitely. Do the drop. You look okay. I forgot because I paused. Oh, you look malnourished. Great way to start up a song. Ooh, Jimmy the Pat. Okay. This is a good one. I just took this out of my current rotation yesterday. Literally. Just. I definitely overplayed this song. The whole album, though, short. One of my favorite songs from last year, for sure. And my heart was beating fast. Yeah, you still got it. Yeah, you still got it, bro. They don't like that, but yeah, still got it. MGM gambling, blew a small mansion. Annoyed cause this bitch calling Lon Von Levin. Fuck who you Please. 
Please be what a day. Please be what a day. for 2010 so i can't be that mad i can't be that mad but hey but yo great vid man honestly like i said too much drake i think excuse me as a as a drake fan too much drake for sure but i mean like dude it does say most iconic so i guess a lot of these are most played which explains stronger and you know so like i guess that makes sense but like dude you know i don't know great vid either way honestly track live never disappoints for real for real and like i said them edits was tough bro they've been going crazy with the editing i feel like in the last year and a half you know when i first started watching track live like it was just fine that they visualized samples but bro they have been going crazy about to hit 360k close to 400k that's fire bro shout out to them wvit 